Aw, you are the best person in the whole world. I love you so much. You're really making Dad mad. Stop it. You're making me mad. Uh-huh, honey, what happened at school today? Uh-huh. Uh, what? No, just give me... Just give me... Just give me... What? Your opinion matters. Your voice matters. You are awesome. You are awesome. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Sit down. Just be quiet. You're awesome. No, just wait. Wait. I said wait. Wait. You want to play? Of course. Let's go play. I love playing with you. Don't have time to play. Why do you keep asking me? You know I don't have time to play. You know. You know. Triggering just even filming that. Wow. Hey friends, I'm Jill Koleski, the super brave. Ow, 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 I just hit the window. I'm Jill Koleski, the super brave teacher. And every time you like this video, every time you share this video, you are sending a message to Google and YouTube that people like me, gay teachers like me, are important, are out and proud and okay to be who they are. So spark bravery by clicking like, spark bravery by sharing this, spark bravery by getting the word out, spark bravery by having a conversation with people who aren't like you and learning their story. So yeah, thank you for liking this, but like yourself and get to know more people. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna get done with this and start talking to more people, okay? Thank you, friends. So if there's anything, any little nugget of advice, that I will give parents when they say, what do you do? How do you do this? How do you make the magic in the classroom? First of all, it's not magic. It's hard, intentional work every day of loving kids. Yes. But the biggest thing that I think I've really got down and I've gotten a lot better at doing every year is, you ready? You ready for this advice? Okay, here it comes. Be whoever you are, just be consistent. I'm, just, I'm gonna do an Oprah and I'm gonna repeat this because that's important. Do you feel that? Be whoever you are. Who you are is awesome. Just be consistent with that person. I always give that analogy of frying brains. We are not here to fry kids' brains. We are here to do a, a soft scramble. I don't, know what the, 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 I don't know what the opposite of that would be, but I do know that I don't want to fry kids' brains. I want to send them off. I want to be consistent. So guess what? You don't have to be me to be a good parent or a good teacher. You have to do you, but you have to be consistent. So kids know there's certain times of the day when I'm getting work done. They know that if I'm talking to an adult, you don't interrupt this guy. Nope. You also know that we're kind and all of these things, right? They know my ground rules, but they also know that I'm gonna to talk to them in a kind, positive voice. I'm gonna use a gentle tone. I'm not gonna yell. And these are things that are consistent with me. If, there, if I'm ever not doing things that are consistent with me, I say, friends, today, I'm having a really hard day. So you're gonna notice that I'm not as consistent as normal. That has nothing to do with you. Right now, I'm gonna be working extra hard on myself to be extra consistent for you, but it has nothing to do with you. So if you notice I'm a little sad today, I might be a little sadder. If you notice I'm a little tired today, good observation. But I'm gonna work hard to be my most consistent for you. And that is what I tell parents. Be consistent for your kids. You don't have to be Betty Crocker. You don't have to be Martha Stewart. You don't have to be, why are there not more men on the list? <laughs> Ugh, I give them scrambling brains to think of the men. But my point is, you don't need to be a rock star parent to be a freaking rock star parent. You need to be consistent. Consistent parents are rock stars. Do you hear that? Consistent parents are rock stars. So if you read one book to your kid a day, but every day you read that book, guess what? You're a rock star. If you give your kid a big hug every day and tell them you love them every day, you're a rock star. If some days you give them 20 hugs and then for two weeks you don't give them any hugs, with the exception of random situations, we know that happens. You're a rock star. 
because consistency is always the key with kids. Don't fry their brain. Go for it's gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. Practice that, practice the consistency. It's so hard, trust me, it is hard. There are days when I'm just like, I don't, I don't wanna show you how to do a line again. I do not wanna model for you how to zip up a jacket. I do not wanna model for you how to have an empathetic conversation. I do not wanna model for you compassionate listening. No, 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 no. But you do it because you realize that, hmm, what's the battle I wanna fight? Being kind and compassionate and being having fun or being inconsistent and kind of a jerk? I was thinking of a different, more strong word, but kind of a jerk to kids. No, 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 no. Be you, who you are is awesome. Just be consistent with that person. So this guy, I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna stick to my plan. I'm gonna get out of here. You are awesome, you are loved, you are consistent, or at least you're getting there, just for being who you are. And this guy, I am loved, I am appreciated, I am valued, I am enough, just because I'm me. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better at being consistent. You too? You too? Awesome. Bye friends.